all right so part two for the spider-verse update is here we got new uniforms one for the scarlet spider turning him into a super villain let's see if it's actually one of note or notoriety let's see where's my proc there we go You definitely want to sit in that tier three. He gets guard broken really easily, which is unfortunate. He's also obviously not the tankiest because that's just not what spider characters are. They're elusive or elusive. Not really tanks. Okay, we got guard broken there. That's unfortunate. Okay, we're gonna take what we can and then use the co op to run out. Uh oh. No. Uh uh. We're not doing that. This let's trigger him into his enrage. Okay, cool. Oh, come on. Of course, it spawns over there. Of course, we make it spawn over there. His movement speed is decent. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. Okay, hold on. Oh, my goodness. Took so much damage. He has a 25% heal. It's not, uh, it's not the best. It's not the worst. Okay, we're gonna try and spawn him over there. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> Come down to the bottom here, sir. Can we finish this up here? You wanna be ooh. You wanna be careful when you pop the um the fifth skill just because Mephisto sometimes will teleport, and if he teleports, obviously he moves to a different area, and then that, um, oof, that's unfortunate. That will cost you some damage, because wherever you are, like when you spawn the fifth kill, that's where all of the, um, the explosions will go off. So you want to make sure that the boss is stationary. Okay, go behind him there. Oof, getting fingered. Don't like that. Also, don't like the sound of that too. <laughs> to be honest, considering we're using triple support, I expected more damage. Oof. Yeah, because we have um, Proxima Midnight support. Taskmaster support and he's also a support, so I expected way more damage. Granted, this is stage 44, but I expected more. I could use him on stage... Um, sorry. I could use him on stage 39, because he has the leadership tag with White Fox and will probably get more damage there. But um, I figured we'll go the highest we can currently go with him now. And we're also not using him with a CDP, so... Keep that in mind. I wanted to give you guys a first look at him, bare bones, kind of. And he doesn't look bad. It's just like, I thought the damage would have been way higher considering triple support build. Okay, this is done so right. Well, come on, bro. There we go. Okay, so four minutes on stage 44. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. Obviously, this is not with CTP, but we're not done yet, so. All right, so we're gonna run Ben on stage 40 against Null and see how this thing goes. Let's see if he can actually get this bad boy down. Okay, the damage looks good on the tier 3 rotation, but I want to see if we can actually melt this guy. Okay, let me chill. It's looking like it's going to take me about a minute 15-ish. 
yeah, unfortunate. We couldn't uh, get off another rotation there, but it's fine. Yeah, it's looking like it's going to take me at least another 30 seconds to... I don't know why my proc activated there. But um, that's annoying. Actually, I know why. It's because I hit the third, and the third has the counter attack. Yeah. So then the counter attack activated the proc. Hmm, that's why. Okay. Yeah, so that cost me a little bit of damage. I did say it was going to take me about a minute 15, but it probably would have been like a minute 10 if we didn't lose that rotation there. But what can we do? Oh, come on. Unfortunate. I should have delayed the fifth a little bit for the first rotation. But I was uh, trying to make sure that we could get... Oh, come on. He guard broke me there? Oh, you a bum for that. So now we have to use a whole extra rotation. Yeah, that's the thing with spider characters, bro. They get guard broken so easily. So you might want to consider like a mighty destruction for this guy if you plan to use him as a primary DPS. And then that way you could use him um, in PvP and PvE. Bro, wh wh why is this man, like, attacking while I'm in an iframe? Oh, it's that clown nightcrawler, ain't, isn't it? Jeez. Bro, I didn't want to have to do this thing, man, but, like, freaking nightcrawler. Like, the only reason I use him as a striker is because he gives, like, extra damage to villains, bro. But, like, he's actually really and truly annoying because he gives the boss something to target. Like, literally all the time, even when you're in an iframe. He's mad disrespectful. Like, seriously, Nightcrawler. I wish I could just turn off the strikers, for lack of a better word, striking. I guess you could say strikers hitting or strikers attacking. I wish you could just turn that feature off. Like, just give me the buff and just stay in your place because you're not doing any damage, bro. Like, your little five damage isn't doing anything. Like, let's be real. Okay, I gotta, gotta get out of there because I would have died. Okay. I'm gonna use one more rotation here just because, actually, maybe I'll, I'll stall it out. Nah. Nah. I was trying to see if I could stall it out so the skills would come off cooldown then I could try to get a tier 3 rotation in. But I don't think Ben would survive we don't have enough damage reduction to tank the uh this unfortunate okay thor hurry up man you're wasting time you're wasting time my g okay yo where's my proc play with me why did i get so little damage there Okay, so 45 seconds left on stage 40. That's kind of unfortunate. I'm not going to lie. It looks like he's weaker than Shuri. Now, for those of you guys who want to see the build for Chasm, like I said before, it's a pretty basic build. I don't have anything really invested in him out of the ordinary for me anyways. However, I do have the uniform at Mythic. And these are the uniform options. I think so far it's a good upgrade for him, but he's not nearly as strong as I was hoping for, considering the fact that he has such a really good tier two passive. Like coupling him with two additional support characters, I was expecting him to out DPS Shuri or at least come close to it. But at this point, I just don't think he has the level of DPS to keep up with Shuri, which makes me wonder if he's actually strong enough to be ABX meta. I'm gonna definitely consider giving him a CTP of Rage. So if you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comments. I really do like his outfit though, and I love the effects that they have for it. Like, it is truly fantastic. By the way, in case you guys are wondering what my thoughts are on the optionals, obviously Thor is great. 
Thor is still one of the best tier fours in the game. Mr. Sinister is AC only. If you have his artifact, he's pretty good. Wong is pretty good. However, he's kind of falling out of relevance just because there isn't really anyone that's super meta right now that needs the uh, mystic buff that he provides. But eventually, Adam Warlock will get tier four and other characters with the mystic tag like Doctor Strange and Mephisto will come back in relevance. So he'll definitely come back at some point. And then obviously Mr. Fantastic is trash at this point and so is the Crossbones uniform. Leave me your thoughts in the comments though on Chasm. Just a first impression. Obviously I'm gonna build him up more and then I'll take him into some more content later on.